What's up YouTube, this is Coding for Noobs, and today is going to be our first Java programming tutorial. During this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to install and set up the Android SDK for Java. And basically we're going to be installing the Android SDK version of Eclipse, which is a Java IDE, because later on in this tutorial series we're going to be making some Android applications. But to get started, just uh, do a simple Google search for Android ADT Bundle because that's going to be our software development kit. And then it'll be the second link, developerandroid.com slash SDK. Uh, and then when we scroll down here, we're going to see a list of different bundles. We want the bundle, not the SDK only, because the bundle will include Eclipse. Now, under bundles, you'll see Windows 32, 64, Mac 64, Linux 32, Linux 64. All you have to do is choose which version or which operating system you're running and then you click on the link beside it. So I'm running a Linux 64 ber uh, version. I'm actually running Ubuntu but Linux will work for me and I just click on ADT bundle. I agree and download. And then from here you can choose to open or save. When you get the zip file, I've already installed it here, you're actually going to have two folders inside of it. I just copy the whole folder over to my desktop. You can put it wherever you want as long as you remember where you put it. Once it's downloaded and you've extracted it like I have, you have two folders in here like I said before, sorry. Now these two folders are two different things. The only thing we need to worry about right now is Eclipse. You don't really touch SDK. All that's inside SDK is a bunch of stuff for Android and we're not doing Android yet and I don't want you messing it up. So just open up your Eclipse folder and run Eclipse. Now it's going to ask me, ask you to set up a workspace and this is where your projects are going to be saved to. So I'm just going to quickly create a Java tutorial, tutorial folder on my desktop and I'm just going to save all of my Java product projects to that folder. Uh, use this as default. No, I'm not going to do that. If you do that, it won't prompt you for this again, but I'm not doing it because I actually have different folders for different projects for Java right now. So I'm just going to click OK now. And you'll see the IDE start to load up. Uh, now that we're in the IDE, we can see that uh, I'm going to set this up a little bit. Restore, exit, sorry. All right, so. As you can see, we have an empty project explorer. We're just going to right click in here and say new Java project. And we're going to call this tutorial one. And inside tutorial one, as you see, we have an empty folder for our source. And then we have a library folder, I guess you could say. Uh, basically, don't touch anything here. Otherwise, you'll mess up your application. All we need to do is open up our tutorial folder, right click on source, new class. So for our class, we're going to call it driver. And that's all we're going to do. Finish. So basically what this class does is it's going to be our main entry point of our program. But for that to work, we actually have to do public static void main string ARGS. And pretty much now, when our program runs, this is our main entry point of the program. Any code that's in here is going to be the first thing that runs. So for the purpose of our Hello World tutorial, just to get us started, I'm just going to quickly do system.out.println hello world. And what this is going to do is just going to print out hello world to our console window. So when I hit run, okay we see hello world down here and that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh, basically if you see hello world you have it installed properly if not you might have to install the Java SDK and if that's the case then I'll be making another video about that later but if you have hello world here then you can continue on with the tutorials if you're getting errors in Eclipse you're gonna have to install the latest Java SDK I think I'm using uh, Java version 16, I'm not sure. 
I'll have to check that out later as well. But uh, thanks for watching, and in our next tutorial, we'll go over some other basic stuff. Some maybe variable declaration, some adding, subtracting, stuff like that. Thanks for watching.